Well, we're gonna call this one take two on trying to get into this job. So I've got the international here now. I got the Peterbilt. I just got it backed in here and the front end fell right where this, in between this gate, it must be the uh, ditch line for the power because it they back in and they just sink. So I thought maybe the international would be a little easier. Uh, just because it took me four times to get the Peterbilt to uh, get lined up to get in here. So I'm trying to get in a person's backyard to dig out for them to extend a retaining wall. So they've already taken the wall down. They're wanting to put an in-ground pool back here. I get this spread. I'll. Uh, I don't want to pull back out on the road. I got mud all over the tires on the international but I get back up here this is actually a site I've built I built a retaining wall here in 18 I believe it's not one not this one that I'm taking down it was the other side of the house he wanted to put like a uh, oh, a parking area and stuff like that this is actually up in his backyard and I actually dug the footings for this house because the builder that built it was the one that I used to do a bunch of work for in 17 and 18. But it's a pretty steep yard. And it's just got a lot of uh, kind of clay and stuff in here. quite playing spreading rock down here but this should help us from tracking mud out on the road and uh, give everybody a little traction because after I get done the guys built the wall got to come back in and then the pool company so this is the annoying part about having limited access on jobs I looked at taking the fence down on the other side of the property is it adjoins the property where I dump everything but there's a lot of trees I'd have to take out a bob wire fence and they were going to lose some of their privacy from that other property so he's got a 10 foot gate but it's at the bottom of the hill so yeah it's not <laughs> not working out too well so far so the annoying part is I've got about 62 loads in the Peterbilt to haul out or 120 in the International. So, but the good news is my shop is like a half mile away. So I may actually just take it there. Cause I think it's gonna be pretty decent clay that I may be able to use on future jobs. I was just gonna wheel it around the block and uh, dump it over here at my dump site but like I said I hate to just dump it off the side of the hill if it's something we can use later on and I had a tree we had some pretty severe storms or high winds here the other night so I'm gonna pick that tree up for him and move it here is the job <laughs> they've already taken the wall down and you can see we've had just a little bit of rain so it's kind of washed some of it out but basically from the back of the blocks i don't know how well you can see this pink line it's gonna come up here like 20 28 to 30 feet that's what it's gonna be uh to here my line's pretty terrible so all this is gonna come out and then they're gonna hook onto that wall and bring it up and around here and that way they got room uh for an above ground pool kind of like straight out from the house right there so the bad part of that, about it is we have a lot of material to take out and I may actually gonna leave some here. I'll probably pile it up because his access is getting pretty limited. So maybe back here for some of it to backfill for the wall guys and have, but I'll probably, since I gotta come in that way, I'll just start over here at this end and just dig it and uh, load it into the truck and haul it out of here. So yeah, not, it's not overly complicated it's just the excess is the biggest thing so that was the wall that i built down there like i said in 18 i believe so yeah got a pretty good swath of uh earth to take out in a little truck so yeah this is kind of funny now because i got the big excavator in the little truck because last time i dug that one out 
I just had the little international and the 260, and but I was able to dump it back off the end of the road and dump it right there, so it really wasn't that big of a deal. But like I said, now I looked at clearing out a path and just being able to back right through there. There's a bob wire fence, there's all those briars, so I didn't know how well uh, that was going to work either. So I'm going to go up here to the top and at least try to dig my line so I don't lose lose it or whatever or dig it on that end and try to get kind of positioned up where I need to be. Just Okay, <laughs> now we'll go dumps. 
still have a long ways to go. So I think I got, I have to look, 20, 22 or 23 loads with that truck. And I really didn't get started on it till like 11 by the time I moved this over here, tried the peak, went and got that and kind of figured out that I got two different spots. The one I'm going through, well, you can see the fill right there is where I normally dump at. But then the good red clay I'm taking to the shop, so it's a little further down the way, but not too much more. So, yeah, it's working. It's just going to be a slow process. That friend of mine may bring his uh, little freight liner tomorrow, and he's actually got one of his tandem trucks. I think it's got a 14 foot box on it, he said, and it's pretty tight turning radius. So, we may even try that, see if we can't speed this up, because the bad part is we have rain rolling in tomorrow night and Thursday and part of Friday. So, not a good time to be trying to dig this out but i'm going to straighten some of this up and then go down there and kind of slick my tracks up for tonight by the time i get back it'll probably be good and dark and then we'll just hit it early again in the morning all right we made it back over here this morning and the uh first thing i want to do is kind of dress up or touch up my little uh temporary drive down there it's pretty soft so uh Got this geo grid here i'm going to kind of pull some of the soft stuff off and then uh lay this down because it'll work just the same as the fabric and they may put a little bit of clay in the clean rock on there but like i said after uh make sure i don't pull the wall down over there After I get done, the guys building the wall have to come in here and then the uh, pool company. I don't know how they're gonna, I have no idea the order they're gonna do this in. So I'll have to kind of string this back out when I get down there. But basically I can take, take this down there and we'll scrape some of that off and I'll try to lay this out flat and then we'll just dump some rock on there and it'll kind of hopefully bridge over the top of that soft stuff because there's going to be a, a lot of traffic in and out of here. And maybe if this starts holding up, I may try to go get the feet. Or like I said, that friend of mine's bringing his probably after lunch because he's busy with it till later in the day. Uh, it's a tandem. I want to say it's got a 13 or 14 foot box on it. But he says it's got a real sharp turning radius, so we may try that. I thought about popping a section of fence out, but it's kind of on a bad angle on that hill, and I don't know, I've already got the yard tore up right here, so we may just roll with this. So I should have got the grading bucket instead, so we'll, uh... I'm not going to get real carried away out here, because, uh, the cable TV line and everything else is buried underneath here. Cable TV is notorious for being like four to six inches below the top of the ground.
we'll try that. It's not the uh, prettiest driveway, but putting that geo grid down in a decent layer of somewhat clean rock with a little bit of that dirt ought to help kind of pack in there and bridge over that soft stuff. So I'm sure we'll have to add a little more, but uh, yeah, it's just kind of a little, I don't know, we got the clean rock, so might as well try to throw it down there and use it. So we'll see how it holds up. Now we'll uh, get the dump truck finished loaded up and uh, start in with our trucking. All right, we are gonna rock and roll now. My stone paid off in the geo grid down there. The trucks aren't hardly sinking. So uh, when I was at the shop this last go around, I dumped the international off and got the Peter built. So and was able to get right up the hill now. So the front end's not sinking or anything. So yeah, like I said, I love the little international truck. It's handy, but. Uh, for the amount of material having to come out of here, it was gonna take me forever. So I may actually try to get that friend of mine. If he's got, he's, I know he's booked up today. We got all this rain and junk coming in tomorrow and Friday. So like everybody's trying to get stuff done. So he may call me later on and say he's got one or two trucks free and then I can just stay in the machine and be hauling it out. But at least now, <laughs> Feel like my trips are going to be a little more worthwhile and maybe put a bigger dent in this thing than uh, what they were with the international i probably should have just tried that yesterday afternoon but i was so annoyed it was a lot it was even more wet and uh soft down there than yesterday than what it was it's dried out more today but like i said once we get this rain it's going to be right back to it but yeah so we're just going to try to uh put as big of a dent in this thing as we can right now, so game on. <laughs> 